Down on the Farm with Grover by Ray Shifford, illustrated by Eleanor Mill. Down on the Farm with Grover. One spring day, everybody was surprised to see Grover coming down Sesame Street wearing overalls and a big straw hat. Hello everybody, called Grover. Guess what, I'm going to be a farmer. My uncle wants me to take care of his farm this weekend while he's away. Do you know how to be a farmer, Grover? Asked Bert. Oh, I am sure that being a farmer is easy, he answered. I, lovable furry old Grover, can do it. And he waved goodbye. When Grover arrived at his uncle's farm, he saw a farmhouse and a big barn with animals in the barnyard. He saw the fruit trees. His uncle also showed him the fields where vegetables grew every year. There are so many things a farmer has to do, Grover's uncle told him. I'll show you what they are. First, Grover's uncle showed him how to give feed to the chickens and ducks and hay to the cows and horses. Then Grover's uncle showed him how to milk a cow. Taking care of animals is only part of a farmer's job, Grover's uncle told him. There is also farm machinery to run, like this tractor and plow. After you've plowed the furrows in the field, you can plant the seeds that will grow into vegetables, such as corn and potatoes and string beans. Finally, after Grover's uncle had shown Grover all the chores to do on the farm, he drove away. Now I am Grover the farmer, thought Grover as he waved goodbye to his uncle. The next morning, it was time to feed the animals again. Wait a minute, said Grover. I bet these cute little animals are tired of all that old hay and oats. I will fix them something special and delicious. So Grover cooked his own favorite foods for the animals to eat. Grover took the food to the barn. Hello, everybody. Here's your breakfast, he called to the animals. I made you some of my favorite things. Hamburgers and pizza and milkshakes and spaghetti and ice cream. Grover was surprised that none of the animals wanted the food he had cooked. Then Grover tried to milk the cow. Oh my goodness, he said. I wonder why there is no milk coming out. Next, he tried to clean the pig pen. Oh, this is very messy, said Grover. Oops, he tripped over his bucket and fell head first into the mud. Being a farmer is harder than I thought. However, Grover the farmer was not discouraged. He climbed up on the tractor and began to plow the field. But he couldn't remember how to stop. Aye, cried Grover as he crashed into the chicken coop. Finally, Grover began to plant. These tiny seeds will grow up into squash and corn and beans and peas and tomatoes, he said. Isn't that wonderful? Hello, birdies, Grover called to a flock of birds flying above him. The birds flew down onto the field and began eating the seeds that Grover had planted. So Grover had to plant the seeds all over again. At last, thought Grover, the crops are planted and nothing else can go wrong. All at once, it began to rain. It rained and rained and rained. When the rain stopped, the wind began to blow. It blew and blew and blew. Grover looked at what the rain and wind had done to the farm. Being a farmer is much harder than I thought, he said. As the sky cleared, Grover looked up and saw all his friends from Sesame Street hurrying toward him. Oh no, said Grover, here comes everybody. What will my friends say when they see this mess? 
Oh, I am so embarrassed. But Grover's friends pitched right in to help him. And by the time Grover's uncle came home to the farm, everything was all fixed and the chores were almost done. And when fall came, the Sesame Street gang returned to help with the harvest. They picked the fruits from the trees and the vegetables from the field. Then they loaded the fruit and vegetables onto the farm wagon to be taken into town to be sold. I am a very good farmer after all, said Grover. Oh, I am so proud. The End